I love to see everybody. Good evening, y'all. Hello, hello. Hello, good evening, everyone. Hello. I love to see it. So exciting. I always want to shout every person's name out, Kenyatta. I don't know about you, but that would be tedious. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. Hey, everybody. Hi. Hi, Hi Jeannie. Hey, Cindy. Hey, Hi, Kenyatta. How are you? Hello. Hey, everyone. Hi, Melissa. Hi, everyone. I'm in traffic, so I'm going to be off video, but I, you know, I, I'm not home when I thought. So sorry. No I like the blue background that you got, Kenyatta, yeah. and the other. Oh, thank you. Thanks okay. to Mackenzie and her <laughs> awesomeness. And Erica, you've got it too. Looking good. <clears throat> Hi, Jeannie. Hi, hon. <laughs> Hi, Ruth. Hey, Ruth. Ruth. Hey, Ruth. So fun to see everybody. Thank you for joining. Uh -huh. We'll get started in just a few minutes. We're going to give everybody a little bit of time to get in here tonight. Hi, Sydney. Hi, Mia. Hi, Sid. <laughs> oh, Stacy, that looks so beautiful. You're set up in there. It's like a sunroom. Thank you. Thank you so much. <laughs> My, this is my office. <laughs> I'm in my office too, but you wouldn't know. <laughs> mm -hmm. Are you basted? Hi, everybody. Oh, perfect. I'm going to pour the Zoom link. Hi, Kelly. Hi, Rose. Hi, Donna Marie. It's good to see everyone. Good evening, everybody. Good evening. Hey, Ruth. Hey, Peter. Good hey, evening. Hey, Timmy. Good evening. Hey, Peggy. Hi, everyone. Hi, everyone. Hi. <laughs> How many people are we expecting, Mackenzie? We're going to be anywhere between 40 and 50, I think, tonight. Um, which often ref reflects, as you can see, it's more like 60 or 70 because folks join in together. So, yeah, yeah. Really. But I just got a couple of RSVPs. You guys know me. I'm over here just like quick forwarding Zooms to people. <laughs> Linda. Look like that. Yeah, you see Linda? There's this next screen. Oh, okay. Great. So I think we'll just give it about two more minutes just to be thoughtful of y'all's time this evening. Not seeing her. So it's just two screens, she's not on yet. We just had um, two GALA committee members reach out for the Zoom link, so that's exciting. Love to have lots of members of our GALA fundraising team here tonight. It's always exciting. And it's exciting when I know them because I can do a real hearty hello. <laughs> <laughs> Amazing. Okay. So before we even get started, I just want to shout out Calvin, who is running our production today. As you can see, I'm not clicking any clicks, which is so exciting. So thank you to Calvin and the RJ White team who are constantly supporting us in so many ways. And Whitney is also joining us from Team RJ White here tonight. And so thank you for supporting us in this way. Um, we're thrilled to have you as partners. We are going to go ahead and get kicked off for the evening. Thank you so, so much for joining us. And Calvin will continue to let folks in as we get started here tonight. All right, <clears throat> so good evening, everyone. My name is Mackenzie Delmont. I am the Associate Director of Development and Events here at N Street Village. I want to thank all of you for being here tonight as we welcome a lot of new friends and many familiar faces and longtime village supporters. In this season of gratitude, we know how truly fortunate we are to count all of you as friends and for each of you to be here for the women of N Street Village. If you have questions throughout the program, please feel free to use the chat box. We will answer as many as we can, but we also wanna be thoughtful of your time. So if we don't get into any questions that you have tonight, please don't hesitate to reach out, sending them to me or to the appropriate person for whom you have the question. For those of you who are new to the village, um, we are so grateful to gather here in this virtual space, though of course we would love to be together. I'd love to share a short introduction video to our mission. Um, while we share, you may need to turn up your volume on your personal computer. 
If you unmuted yourself to say hello, we were so glad to hear your voice, but please be sure that you are muted so we can best hear our speakers this evening. And with that, please enjoy this video. Before the pandemic, I remember we were getting ready for the gala, our normal daily, you know, get this done, do this, help this person, pull this person in, talk to this person. And then the pandemic hit. It was scary. It was scary to everyone, for everyone. We, we wanted to keep the ladies as close to us in the building as possible. As a team, we have to step up our precaution, you know, to make sure that the, the everywhere is clean and sanitized and everyone has their mask on. Starting a job in the midst of the pandemic, it was different. Of course, wearing a face mask and getting to know people with the face mask because, of course, you know, it's COVID. You don't want to get sick, but at the same time, you kind of want to be open to the people, you know, get to know them more, let them get to know you more. As soon as I hit the garage, my mask goes on and I'm asking God to give me the patience to deal with whatever is waiting for me. I work the second floor. I think we have about maybe about 50 to 55 beds, but we try to keep it at 35 just to maintain the social distancing. We used to have two ladies to a room, but now during the pandemic, it's important to have one in each room. With COVID and hypothermia, it kind of makes things worse, but luckily we were able to open up Eve's place slash Adam's place. So it makes it makes it a little bit easier because we have a place for them to go. We have a place for them to seek shelter. In response to the pandemic, uh, we had to go virtual on meetings, on our AA and A meetings. We also went live with some of them for purposes of sponsorship. You know, because since I'm not seeing the clients the way I'm supposed to see them involved in their life, but I make sure like, you know, talk to them every day to know how they're doing physically, mentally, spiritually, you know, to know where they are so that I will be able to provide the support that they need. Working from home, I can say I'm working more too because I'll forget that I'm home and I still keep working, which is fun because um, I'm working towards getting, like I said, my residents to achieve their goals. During COVID, you know, I find strength just with coming in and helping the ladies, just um, being able to give back to them. I just, it's, it's my way of giving back. I feel like I'm able to, you know, I feel like I'm doing something positive. In street, it's like a, a engine you know, just chugging down this, this, this track. And all of a sudden the engine had to stop and rethink which way to go. Good evening, everyone. My name is Erica Martin Bolden. Not only am I a proud board member of End Street Village, but I'm also going to serve once again as a co-chair of the End Street Village Gala alongside my friends Hillary Baltimore and Sarah Conrad. Unfortunately, tonight Hillary is unable to be with us, but she is absolutely here with us in spirit, and I'm so happy and excited to welcome our newest co-chair, Sarah. On behalf of the board, thank you for being here this evening for what is hopefully one of our last virtual uh, village events. And thank you to our host committee for making tonight possible. This year, the village has been presented really with some major changes. After 18 years of serving the village, former CEO Schroeder Stribling transitioned to her new role as CEO of Mental Health America. We are incredibly grateful for Schroeder's passion, vision, and leadership. During her tenure, the village grew from one site to eight sites, and today 
<clears throat> excuse me, we house over 800 women each year and serve almost 2,000, seeing a new woman nearly every day. This summer, the board conducted a comprehensive nationwide search for our new CEO. I'll now welcome my fellow board member and GALA co-chair, Sarah Conrad, to introduce the Village's new CEO. Thank you, Erica. I'm honored and excited to join you and Hillary as a GALA co-chair this year. In searching for a new CEO, we were thrilled as a board to discover that the right person for the job was someone we already knew, someone we trusted, respected, and who inspired and excited us. It's my pleasure to introduce the Village's newly minted CEO, Kenyatta Brunson. As many of you know, Kenyatta most recently served as our Chief Program Officer and is intimately involved with our programs that serve over 70% of DC's female homeless population. Early in the process, Kenyatta differentiated herself as the natural choice, and the board was very excited to find a highly qualified internal candidate that will be able to seamlessly continue advancing the Village. We believe Kenyatta brings the right energy, vision and compassion necessary to lead N Street Village and continue our mission of empowering women experiencing homelessness in our nation's capital. Kenyatta, it is with great joy that I welcome you tonight. Thank you. Good evening, everyone. Thank you, Erica and Sarah. And thank you to our board chair, Peter Shields, our vice chair, Ruth Swanson, and all of our board members joining us tonight. Good evening. I am Kenyatta Brunson, and I am the newest CEO of N Street Village. For those I have yet to meet, I look forward to getting to know each of you very soon. Tonight, I am grateful for you, our amazing village community, as you continue to show your commitment to providing a safe, dignified home for women across Washington, DC. I serve alongside you, knowing that it takes collaboration, investment, and vision to tackle what is ahead of us. For the last five years, I have been proud to serve as a leader on the Village Programs Team, but most recently serving as the Chief Program Officer before taking on the role of CEO. But my career did not start here. I have been working to elevate voices of unserved and unrepresented communities for more than 25 years. My first job right out of college seems like it was just yesterday. I worked at a lockdown facility for teenage boys who were in the juvenile system. I served as a director for children's runaway shelter for emotionally disturbed young men and women. I've worked with developmentally disabled adults, individuals with substance abuse disorders, and people experiencing severe mental health crises. I have managed teams from two to 40. When I came to the village five years ago, it felt like I was coming home. I knew that serving women experiencing homelessness was what I was meant to do. I know that I was called to do it. You'll often hear us say that every day a new woman comes to the doors at N Street Village. And when we say that, we don't just mean our clients, we mean everyone. Five years ago, that woman was me. My faith, my passion, my justice, my passion for justice, my commitment to ensuring that no voice goes unheard, brought me to this door. My belief that N Street Village is changing the lives of women in Washington, DC is why I keep coming through those doors every single day. And it what, what brings me here tonight as CEO. I speak to you this evening with so much joy in my heart. Tonight marks a shift in the village's history as I proudly become the first black woman to hold the title of Chief Executive Officer of N Street Village. Every day we strive to be as reflective of the community we serve as possible. And our community is diverse in so many ways. As a black woman, I take this responsibility very seriously. And it is my hope that in seeing me in this role, our clients, and our community 
understand that our commitment to diversity is more than just a motto. We are living our values, our mission, our vision. As I begin my tenure, I will look to the women of N Street Village, to our remarkable staff, and to you, our village champions. One thing is very clear, our work is more critical than it has ever been, and it's going to take all of us. Our top priority is giving women a place to call home, not just a bed, not just a roof over her head, not just a place to store her things, a home. A home is a space of dignity, a space of respect, a space filled with love, a space where you can connect with others. As the largest service provider to women experiencing homelessness in Washington, DC, we are now operating eight sites in four wards, reflecting 13 unique programs that provide individualized care. We provide emergency shelter, specialized senior care, wraparound services for women living with HIV and AIDS, and permanent supportive housing for over 800 women. We are running trauma-informed programs focused on holistic health, knowing that mental health, physical health, and emotional health are all equally important. We are operating a robust vocational training program, getting more women than ever connected to benefits, nurturing creativity through arts programming, and staving off the very real impacts of loneliness and isolation by keeping volunteers, friends, and loved ones connected to our clients in innovative ways. And yet, right now, as I speak to you tonight, we are falling short. We need more, more beds, more services, more support. We recognize that while we are doing everything we possibly can do, we can always do more. The downturn effects of the twin pandemics are becoming increasingly visible. We are welcoming women who never imagined that they would be coming to our doors. We are hearing stories of women who are already on the edge and how in these last 18 months, they went from barely keeping their head above water to not knowing where they were going to go next, what to do, who to call. We need to be innovative in a way that we never have been before to meet her and the next woman with new solutions to familiar problems. And I believe that we can. I believe that when we prioritize listening to those with lived experience, we can lead with integrity and purpose. I believe that when we harness the power of empathy, and compassion into action, we can build systems that are responsive and sustainable. I believe that with the continued investment of friends like you, all of you that are here with us tonight, we can imagine a day when there is no longer a need for a space like In Street Village. I believe that in being here and sharing your time with us, you too can imagine that day. Thank you so much for joining us tonight. I look forward to getting to know each and every one of you in the coming months. It is now my pleasure to introduce Chairman Hakeem Jeffries from New York's 8th District and one of this year's gala co-chairs. Good evening. Thank you for joining this pre-gala reception for N Street Village, this phenomenal organization, and most importantly, for your friendship and for your support of the efforts by N Street Village to address homelessness among women here in the Washington, D.C. metropolitan area. The N Street Village work is so critically important. That was the case prior to the pandemic. But we know that COVID-19, this once in a century pandemic has exacerbated 
many of the societal ills that have long existed, particularly as it relates to homelessness and those who find themselves on the wrong side of neighborhoods that have been neglected for years. End Street Village's work in making sure that the organization looks out for the least, the lost, and the otherwise left behind for those who find themselves on the wrong side of the affordable housing crisis has been transformative and is a model for us here in Congress to build upon as we endeavor to build back better. I thank you for supporting this amazing organization. I thank my good friend, Chairman Emeritus of the House Democratic Caucus, Joe Crowley, for extending this invitation to participate in this pre-gala reception. And I look forward to continuing our work to make America the best that it can possibly be to address homelessness, address the affordable housing crisis, provide supportive services in a holistic fashion and ensure that there's opportunity to thrive and experience the American dream in every single zip code in the United States of America, but particularly here in the nation's capital. God bless you, God bless in street and God bless the United States of America. Chairman Jeffries, we are so grateful for your support and we are excited to welcome you as our congressional co-chair uh, this spring at our gala. So let's talk gala. Everybody knows this is my absolute favorite thing to do. So 31022. 31022. You're going to hear me say it probably 20 times before I'm finished. But the gala really represents the generous investment of N Street Village's strongest supporters, from foundations to corporations to individuals. Last year, we gathered virtually to protect the health and safety of our entire village community. And yet, even though we were physically apart, it felt like we were all there together. With the support of more than 115 sponsors and the successful auction shared by Jackie Michael and uh, Peggy Sparks, we raised more than $1.7 million, all to help the women in our city to the, on their journey to healing and hope. This year, the gala and the auction will be held on 31022 at the Marriott Marquis, and we can't wait to see you in person. So please grab your phone, grab your calendar, and save the date for 3-10-22. We hope that you will join us in supporting this event. We know that your investment makes a serious impact. We see it every day. We see it firsthand when we volunteer to teach classes, when we're making meals, when we're spending time with the remarkable women at the village. So if you already know, if you've looked at your calendar, taken a peek and know that you can't make it that evening, feel free to put your name in the chat. We'll have Mackenzie follow up with you and we would love to process your either individual or corporate sponsorship. Never too early to start this fundraising. Remember 3-10-22 or now. As we approach Thanksgiving, we are so grateful for all that we personally receive back from the energy of the village. We invite you to feel the warmth and love of being a part of our N Street Village family. We know that you too will be thankful that you did. I'll see you on 310-22. I love it. I, I joked to Erica the other day that I actually said the wrong date. Uh, recently, if you're on our board, you know I sent the wrong date and so this is good. I, I should probably remember too. I should probably be there. Uh, so <laughs> thank you so much, Erica. Um, I wanted to open the floor if anyone had any questions, general or specific. I just thought I'd take a couple minutes. If you want to throw it in the chat box, certainly no pressure if you don't have any, but if you do, um, this is a great moment to ask. And you can also just feel free to unmute yourselves if you'd like. All right, cool. Oh, looks like Peter's unmuting. Hi, Mackenzie, could we ask the, um, why don't we ask Peggy, I, I don't see Jackie there, but maybe ask the gala, gala chairs as well as the auction chairs, how we can help in specific ways as we go into brainstorming and really planning for the next several months. Awesome. 
Peggy, do you want to take that one? Didn't expect to speak, but I should. <laughs> <laughs> um, we're so excited to, to lead the auction um, again this year with um, a new addition, Missy, um, who is joining us. So Jackie I and Missy are just really thrilled to um, be doing this once again. Um, what we really need from everyone is great ideas. I think we've done the auction for quite a few years now and every year, um, Mackenzie says this, and so I have to second it. It's one of the best auctions that DC usually hosts. We have wonderful champions of the village who have donated experiences, who have donated um, luxury handbags that are gently used. I know Linda did that last year, if I'm not mistaken. So we've had, you know, just wonderful um, experiences. We've had United Airlines giving first class tickets around the world. And I think um, what we really would like to do in 2022 is to up our game a little. So if you have interesting um, additions to what we've done previously, we'd really like to hear from you. So thank you so much. Thank you, Peggy. Uh, yes, I'm so excited. Thank you for mentioning that. In addition to Sarah Conrad joining our co-chairs with Hillary and Erica, Missy Curick is also joining Peggy and Jackie, another incredible member of our village family. Um, Ashelle, thank you for dropping that question in the chat. We will start accepting auction items as soon as you have them. You know, as we move into this season of Thanksgiving, we start connecting with village friends who have supported us in the past. We really kick off um, in earnest in the new year, um, right after the holiday, but the sooner the better is kind of the short answer, so. And I'm here in the office. Again, you can't see sneakily, but um, I'm here. So I would be loving, I'd love to see you guys as well. Excellent. So if there are no other questions, we're going to conclude our program here. Again, if you have any additionally, please don't hesitate to reach out to me or to Kenyatta, to a member of the board if that's who you're connected to. This past Monday, DC declared its first hypothermia alert of the season. With signs of winter fast approaching, even though you might not feel it today on this beautiful sunny day, um, and the challenges this time of year brings to so many in our community, N Street Village prides ourselves on bringing a resolution to the problem of solving women's homelessness. This year, we are proud to be a partner in hypothermia season and will begin operating Sherwood Recreation Center, where we will serve 60 women experiencing homelessness starting this Monday, November 22nd. Thank you for taking the time to help celebrate with us tonight. Thank you to Erica and to Sarah and to the support of Chairman Jeffries for joining us and to Joe who got a special shout out for bringing uh, Representative Jeffries into our village family. Kenyatta, I am so excited to call you our new CEO and work alongside you in this village community. We would like to end our program this evening with a brief video of one of our 2021 Gila honorees Ms. Benita Moss, to hear the impact of your investment from a member of the Village family with lived experience. Thank you for joining us, and we hope to see you on, as Erica reminded us all, March 10th, 2022. Thank you. My name is Benita Moss. I did use drugs for many, many years throughout my teens, uh, up until adulthood. I'm going to say probably my latter 30s or maybe 40. I had over 20 years clean. Um, but a lot of times things don't work the way we plan and I had a situation and I used, um, but I clearly thought after a couple of days that this is not going to work. What are you going to do? You're 63 years old. So, um, that's when I suck up, I, I seek entry at that time because I knew I didn't have any other recourse. I was on the fifth floor upstairs on the fifth floor and that's the recovery house. Life was challenging on the fifth floor. I was already in COVID mode because we had lockdown. It was four o'clock, you're not going back outside. You're gonna do this and do that. And it was structural. And after a while, after a couple of days, I was like, these are my people, <laughs> you know, these are my people. I'd listen to their stories and I was like, wow. And you know, I'm like, you just a drop in the bucket. <laughs> you know, these people really been through and they kept coming back every day, like I was. So I became friends with most of them. I stayed in touch with N Street Village because these are my people. If it wasn't for N Street Village and the people, uh, I wouldn't be where I am today. The bottom line is I owe these people my life. If it wasn't for N Street, there would be a lot of people 
um, dead, homeless, and who knows what else. I'm just glad I came to industry because I trust me, I couldn't take no more. I couldn't take any more pressure. You know, I want to live like that. I'm 65 now. I have a new career. Um, I'm living life. Life is good. Because I got my job actually through industry. Everybody was just so helpful. So now I work for Friendship Place. I am a residential aide. Been there almost a year, started in the pandemic. I'm fortunate enough to get a job in the pandemic. So um, it's been wonderful. I feel great. Um, and actually, you know, every day that you wake up, you stand a chance to, uh, to improve yourself. Thank you so much for coming. Y'all have an absolutely wonderful evening. We hope to see you soon. Mm -hmm.